Hello everyone, welcome to Designs by Loretta. Of course, I'm Loretta Roger, and all the information about the products that I'm going to be sharing in today's video will be in the description box. You can also send me an email if you have questions. That information will be in a caption. So today I have a share for you. I purchased these watercolors from Jury's Art Rama online. They were running a special. These um, are from Lindsay, the frugal crafter. This set was curated by her. Um, I also ordered a couple of other things. Um, got some brushes and they actually sent a small color chart for Turner's Artist watercolors. And I bought a block watercolor paper pad as well. When you open the box, it does have a description of the watercolors. And they, they are half pans. And as you can see, they come wrapped. This does have a finger loop. So when you're traveling, it makes it very easy just to take this type of a watercolor with you. And you just simply take the pa the palette and just drop it into place. And as you can see, it fits very nicely. Now, what you're gonna want to do is unwrap these half pans and swatch them. Here is the uh, watercolor palette. It is um, been taken out of its foil wrappers and now I'm going to take a piece of Canson XL watercolor paper and on the smooth side I'm just going to uh, write out the name of each color and then we will swatch them together but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and just use some plain water and just keep mine in a spray bottle I'm just going to use this water that I keep in a spray bottle to moisten these paints to get them ready for swatching. I have written out the names of each one of the colors onto this piece of Canon XL watercolor paper on the smooth side. I used a Sharpie marker, and I'm not really sure how that's gonna react with water, but I guess we'll find out. Earlier, you saw me take my Lucas watercolors and spray them down so they're ready to go. I'm just using a very inexpensive number four Nicole brush. Let's make sure it's really clean though. And it is. I have a cup for dirty water and I have a cup for clean water. So if I do need to re-dampen these as I go along. All right, the first color is opaque white. You're really not going to see anything there. It's very um, translucent. The next is lemon yellow. This is cadmium yellow. This is yellow ochre. Indian yellow. This is yellow deep. Cadmium red light. This is just red. Alzerian crimson is next. I am cleaning my brush off in between colors with my baby wipe. And for you mixed media people, this is fabulous. I know I am probably gonna use it in something. There's too much yumminess not to. Next color is crimson. Excuse me, the next color is magenta. Then we have violet. It's 
some ultramarine. That's pretty. And the, the next one is Flato Blue. Then we have Persian Blue. Cayenne Blue. May Green. Chromium Green. Vilheo Green. I'm not sure if that's how I pronounce it or not. Olive Green. English Red Light. Burnt Umber. Raw Umber. Payne's Gray. And Ivory Black. In my next video, I am going to do some reverse embossing and color an image for a sympathy card that I need to get out in the mail tomorrow. So I hope that you will stay tuned and watch my next video. If you have it and you'd like to be subscribed to my channel, don't forget to share my videos on your social media. Stay happy and be a blessing. I look forward to having another video for you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.